One, it is Bulletproof Monday for the second time. I had some technical issues earlier, but uh, anyway, I hope you are doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope your family is safe. And my heart goes out to everyone who is having challenges navigating being at home. And it can be frustrating. It can be lonely. It can be uh, confusing. And if you also have kids at home and you're trying to figure out what to do there, um, maybe you're worried about some loved ones who've lost their jobs or maybe you've lost your job or you're trying to figure out how to pivot your business because of COVID and that's where I'm here to serve. My name is Susan Slot and I've been teaching productivity to entrepreneurs for over 25 years. I am an entrepreneur myself. I have three businesses. I have five kids. God love them. Three of them are still at home and I'm going to share with you some rapid fire tips and how you can create a schedule that is going to allow you to be more productive, accomplish what you want to and also so um, be a great mom, a great dad, a great daughter, father, whoever it is to um, your kids and uh, your parents and all the people you care about. And, um, you know, if you tried to join earlier, I apologize. I think there were so many people on the Internet. It just wasn't allowing me to uh, to stream properly. But here I am now working from home like many of you. So I want to I want to get right into it. So the you know, the challenging thing with working from home and my husband and I have been working at home home together for 14 years and we're both still alive and we're still married. So there you have it. Um, we have had, you know, two little girls during our time working from home that brought our kids and we adopted once so we went from two kids to five kids and we've had our moments um you know there there have been some challenges but we've managed to navigate it really beautifully and it comes down to respect i know some of you are suddenly at home with your partner and you're like oh my gosh you know i'm not used to having her or him home and i i went to the fridge to make a sandwich and they ate all the mayonnaise it's my mayonnaise or you know whatever's happening or your kids or maybe um, you're trying to get a conference call done and your kids decide that's a really good time to fight over the PlayStation. That's just life and it leaves you in a place where you're like, I think I just need a cocktail and it's only one in the afternoon. No, you don't. You just need to be organized. So during times like this, it's so important to have a schedule. And just like kids need a schedule to feel grounded, to feel certain, to feel safe, so do we as adults. And a schedule isn't something that's designed to help you, to make you feel stressed out. It's actually there to be very liberating. So one of the things we've done in our house is we created something called the happy path. The happy path is, you know, what our day looks like during COVID. So for us, 7.45 in the morning, um, we're just meeting as a family to pray and set intentions for the day. 8 a.m., it's schoolwork. My husband and I are working. At noon, we take something called a wellness break. Um, it's really important, of course, to get exercise during times of stress, and it is for kids. So today we were playing basketball outside. Then we came back. It was more work until about 3.45. We have another wellness break we just went for a walk with the dog came back in i just got off a zoom meeting i'm here serving all of you and then we'll have dinner um and you know we posted it on our refrigerator so the kids see the schedule and it was amazing that once we my 10 year old and i made this poster of the schedule that once we posted it i could just feel in the house the stress level went down um, my son is on the autism spectrum he's not taking this really well um yesterday he was pretty stressed and i said buddy what's wrong and he just said I'm super stressed about what's going on. And so, um, you know, if you have children with special challenges, um, I'm right here with you. And so navigating that and once the schedule was up, he was a lot happier because he knew what to expect. Now, it's one thing to create a schedule. It's another thing to live into it. And that's where I want to give you some tips. So the first one is and I have them right now. The first one is that you still want to put in an eight hour day. So an eight hour day doesn't have to be eight consecutive hours. It could be 90 minutes. I like I always suggest working 90 minute blocks so 90 minutes and then a 30 minute break and then 90 minutes and a 30 minute break. So putting in that eight hour day of productivity and so 
scheduling that in and how it looks on Monday might not be how it looks on Tuesday, Wednesday, but I would suggest if you do have kids at home that you do the same eight hours every single day. That's the first tip. The second tip is identifying if you have a monkey on your back. So if you've read um, my highly acclaimed book, Organize Your Life, I've been teaching organization, as I said, for over 25 years or taken my course, Organize Your Life. I have Organize Your Life for entrepreneurs coming up in April because of of COVID, I rolled the price back to what we used to sell it at um, 10 years ago. It's $147. You can go on, or, yeah, $147. Go on susansly.com. And I teach it live for six weeks. I put you in a private mentorship group. I coach you. Um, it's beautiful. So that is coming up. So if you've ever taken my course or read my book, what the monkey on your back is, is what is the most pressing thing right now? If you've lost your job, the most pressing thing right now is finding a job, finding a way to make money, finding a way. Maybe you were, I grew up in a restaurant. Um, so if you were a server or a cook and then suddenly your restaurant's closed or you um, were in the service industry, a massage therapist, you're like, oh my gosh, figuring out a way to bring in money is your eight hour a day job and that's the monkey on your back. If you have a business and you're trying to figure out how to pivot it during COVID, it's not going to last forever, but it's here right now, then your eight hour job a day is figuring out how to pivot that to serve your patients, to serve your clients. Uh, one of my friends is a music teacher. I was te speaking to her Saturday. I said, okay, you're just going to teach all the classes online. I can help you get that set up. It's not a problem. If you have a business, that you already do from home it's a um you know online business or whatever it is then you're going to put more effort into it during the last recession we had 2008 2009 the stock market went in the us 13,000 to 6,000, so it went in half um just like it's doing now and then we also had sars so people were very scared of sars a respiratory illness i mean it was very aggressive very similar time 11 years ago and so during that time I actually tripled down on my online business and as a result of that um, we went on to be very 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 successful so if you have a business that is online and you can triple down your efforts and that includes looking for new clients and following up with people and doing booking appointments and doing all those things do it I would say this is also a time to be sensitive to people so I would say reach out to people first connect with them see how they're doing and then allow your business to enter that conversation the third thing step three in making a schedule um you know again you want to come out of this still married if you're married um still you know you haven't you know lost your mind <laughs> because of this so when i wrote the book have it all woman i created a life pyramid and um your your a pyramid doesn't balance on its tip it balances on a very solid base so at the base of your pyramid is health and faith, whatever that looks like to you, and love and self-care. And so scheduling in something every day for your health, and that could be exercising. I saw there was a man in New York, he ran a whole marathon on his balcony, um, doing something you don't need to get out. If you can't leave the house, I know some of you can't where you live, um, do something in the house, you know, put go on YouTube, find a workout, do something, but schedule that time for your health. Just like in our house, as I said, we call them wellness minutes. My goal during COVID is 90 wellness minutes a day. I decided in all of my companies, and I'm um, CEO of um, two and co-CEO of a third, a tech startup, that I'm actually tripling down my efforts. And I know in order for me to do that, I can't give from a well that's empty. So that's where I'm you know, getting 90 wellness minutes a day. So today it was the Peloton uh, early this morning. Then I did weights in my office. Um, then you know we had the walk with the family. Family basketball at lunchtime I have over 90 wellness minutes today the next thing is relationships you've got to schedule in people scheduling in your kids for something fun scheduling in your partner whatever that looks like um, on Saturday I taught my dad how to use zoom meetings scheduling in your parents if they're at a distance that's another good thing to do above relationships now comes money what is scheduling in that time to make money focusing on what is going to generate income what is going to grow your business what are those income producing activities so i'm very clear in all of my businesses that when i'm working it's on income producing activities above that is giving back so what are you doing to contribute so 
If you go to SusanSly.com and you're on my list, I am a certified coach. I have been coaching entrepreneurs. I've written for big magazines. I've been on CNN, CNBC, Fox, all of the big ones. I am giving away coaching for free for people on my list. So once a week, they're coming and getting coached. They're getting coached on sales, on marketing strategy, all of it. The other thing we're doing for free is we're putting on something called a summit of hope. I'm inviting my friends who are the top of their game in different areas. Casey Adams, number one podcast in the world for Gen Z. Dennis Yu, he was on CNN three times last year for social media. Um, I'm inviting them to give all of you their best business tips for free. So that is coming up on April 3rd, Friday, April 3rd from 10 a.m. Pacific to noon Pacific, and it's free. So I'm not charging for that. It's just come give free. And I'm just serving at a different level, giving back. And I, you know, I give a lot, but I'm actually tripling my efforts of how much I'm giving right now. Um, if you don't know my story, there was a time when I did lose everything. I got very sick. I was diagnosed with MS. Um, my marriage fell apart. I lost a business. I ended up homeless on my brother-in-law sofa I have been there with my back against the wall and I just want to be that person who's there and a shining light um, for people who are have their back against the wall and I always want to make sure that whatever I do that there are different things I do for free um, you know that people can access um, yeah of course if you want to work with me and organize your life for entrepreneurs it's only $149 that is a six-week intensive and a lot of other trainers with less um, experience than me which are like a thousand dollars for that but as I said I rolled back the prices so figure out how you can give and the last part of that pyramid is fun it's so important so in our family we're scheduling fun things every day. Um, up on the fridge um, is going another uh, big sheet of paper. Just like, you know, you go on a cruise or you go to a resort and they show the fun activities every day. So my kid said, um, can you teach us French, mommy? And I said, okay, yeah, we can do that. So we're doing French lessons, there's board game night all of it just so that the kids feel safe and secure and they're having fun and Chris and I are having fun as well. <clears throat> the fourth thing is aligning your schedule with your goals. Okay, I see a lot of people who they're busy but they're not productive. And I'm gonna say that again, there's a difference between busy and productive. So you can say, oh gosh, I just spent eight hours, but you watch YouTube videos, you were messaging people on social media. Did you make any money? Did you get anything done? Um, someone said to me, oh my gosh, a TikTok video I did um, was so silly and I had 24,000 people like it. I go, did you make any money? And they're like, no, but I have thousands of followers on TikTok. And I was like, are you making any money? I don't know, right? So your job is probably not to be entertaining. Your job is to be productive. And so aligning your schedule with the things that are most important that you accomplish. The fifth thing is schedule time to learn something new. We just got back at our house a ton of time. So in the morning, we'd be driving kids to different schools, 90 minutes in the morning, 90 minutes after school. We don't use a nanny. Some of our friends think we're crazy, but it's, you know, we know this is a period of season in our life. And um, so anyway, Chris and I looked at each other and went, oh, we just got back three hours in our day, right? And that doesn't include like basketball practice, track practice, like all these different things, track meets and things like that. And I'm like, oh, we got, you know, literally 15 hours a week. So my husband is taking a course. I'm actually studying at MIT right now. Um, you know, take this time to learn something new. If you had to commute to a job or you had to shuffle kids to and from school and lessons and everything, write down the number. How many hours did you get back? And whatever it is, use it for something good. And I'm just going to finish with this. And I'm so happy and you and again I apologize for the technical issues earlier it's all perfect right um, I want to finish with this the question I keep asking myself and Chris and I talk about a lot is what if we could end up on the other side of this better off than we were before and and better off meaning healthier um, more prosperous just better human beings, we gave more, we serve more, and however long it is, more. Maybe it's gonna only be two weeks, there was some good news today, maybe it's four weeks, maybe it's six weeks, eight weeks, whatever it is, then on the other side of this, we're better off. And I would just 
finish with this, and I say this with so much love because it doesn't matter. Some of you would say this advice is worth the price of admission because it was free. Um, I, you know, I just love all of you. I do. And you might say, well, you don't even know me. How can you love me? I just have a loving heart. Like many of you, I've been through so much pain and I used to have a resentful heart, but um, it took a long time, but definitely the last 15 years, I've just had a loving heart. And, you know, I, I say this with so much love. My wish for all of you is on the other side of this. You will come out better. And I would just say, ask yourself bigger questions. What if I could come out wealthier, healthier, um, you know, in, in a better place on the other side of that? What would it look like? What would I have to do now in order to make that happen? And whatever it is, just do it. So, with that, I do have free coaching on Friday. It is um, amazing. And um, go to susanslide.com, get on the list, invite your friends to get on the list. It's not a spammy list. I promise you that. I don't email you every day. The people who email every day, oh my gosh, I'm in marketing. It's too much right now. I don't want to see another COVID email. One guy has emailed literally every day marketing his stuff for COVID. I'm just like, stop doing that right now. So I won't spam you. Um, I will invite you to free coaching. I do want you to come to the Summit of Hope. We do not, I'm just putting that all together. I just booked another amazing speaker today. Uh, Rich Darn, he founded Scipio. He's amazing. He's got a huge heart. He um, works with people like Brendan Burchard and stuff, puts on events with them. So um, it's going to be incredible. So get on the list, seasonslide.com. Again, it's all free. Um, and I would love to see you there. If you are interested in taking Organize Your Life with me, I rolled back the price. As I said, it's only $147, I believe it is, on the website on seasonslide.com. It's six weeks. It's for entrepreneurs. Um, it's going to be all new content because we're living in a brand new time. We intensively focus on money, on brand building, on being organized. It's so much more than just cleaning your freaking desk. There's so much more to it. So with that, God bless. I much love and um, thank you for being here. If this has helped you in any way, please share it. I read every single one of your comments. Um, it might not be right the second, but I always go back and read them. So with that, thank you so much for being here. God bless and we'll be here next Monday. Bye everyone.